The investigation into former President Donald Trump's possession of multiple classified documents continues. The Justice Department arguing in court today that it has reviewed documents seized from Trump's home and determined a small number contain attorney-client privilege-related materials. Now, the FBI launched an unprecedented search out of the former president's Florida home three weeks ago today. The political and legal fallout is still unfolding. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joining us now in the studio with more. And Brian, I know you talked with former U.S. Attorney Jay Town today. Is he surprised by all of this? Well, Jerry, as you said, it's unprecedented. A law enforcement search of a former president's home. Former U.S. Attorney Jay Town told us today he thinks the FBI could have taken a, a different approach, and he thinks their approach signals where things are headed. They made the decision probable cause existed that there was a crime and no matter who it is, uh, they thought that a search warrant was the way to go about this. Again, not something I would have done, uh, but I can understand uh, perhaps how that came to be. Former U.S. Attorney Jay Town said he would have chosen another approach, citing concerns about harming public confidence in the justice system and the FBI. I would suggest there were several other off-ramps uh, that could have been used to retain a, a, a subpoena forthwith, where it just says bring all those boxes to the courthouse in an hour, and then there's contempt procedures after that. There, there were lesser means uh, to retrieve those 20 boxes, um, and maybe they had really good reason. We don't know what was redacted. If the DOJ declines a prosecution, town expects that will be announced in the next two weeks, but... I strongly believe that the charging decision to, to indict President Trump has been made and that DOJ will indict him uh, and they will do so sometime after the midterm elections so that they're not to interfere with those midterm elections. So this will sort of hover uh, throughout the next three months. Uh, but I think at this point, um, they, the DOJ is, is wise enough uh, to not want this investigation to seem any more political than those on the right perceive it to be. Searching the former president of the United States' home is step 20 in a 20-step process. In considering Trump's potential defense, Town says it's not clear what investigation Trump may have obstructed, and he says there are real questions about declassification power, executive privilege, and the basis for the search. You know, what authority did he actually have over those records? Part of that is whether or not he has this sort of blanket magic wand declassification authority. That's never been decided. Anybody who says they're an expert on that particular topic is, is, is not an expert. The 15 boxes that, that uh, National Archives got in January of 2022, those, those records were under executive privilege per Trump's counsel to the archives. Uh, and to this day, they've never relinquished executive privilege over those documents. Now, Town, who was appointed U.S. Attorney by the Trump administration, said today, if Trump is indicted, several of the issues just discussed, like declassification and like executive privilege, will likely be argued all the way to the Supreme Court before a criminal case is even decided.